What's going on guys, welcome back to another Madden 13 video. Please do me a favor, take a moment, hit the like button as well as subscribe to my channel. Of course, your criticism is welcome in the comment section and as always, I ask you to follow me on Twitter. My username is Shutdown Safety. Playing this for you at speed, I want to talk about really the elephant in the room, I feel like, when it comes to Madden 13 and that's the improper implementation of the Infinity Engine and the real-time physics that was touted in this game. And to me, one of the reasons this is a major concern is I felt when we were going to have physics-based tackling, you would see a majority if not all of the tackling animations removed from this game which if you can think about it would free up so much more room to make the game more realistic in terms of wide receiver defensive back jostling offensive defensive line interactions catching animations quarterback throwing animations and instead we're still seeing a game that tries to fight itself with physics-based tackling and yet still has some animation-based tackling implemented into it and the game seldom times understands which one it wants to fully involve in a play and a prime example is going to be this outside run with Beanie Wells now this is still going to be a touchdown but could you imagine if it wasn't how you would feel if this happens to you I want you to notice up in front of me that I've got McBath coming in to make a tackle but I've got Malcolm Floyd who's going to come in and kind of block him out now the game, I guess, does not register the fact that Fluid is blocking McBath out of the play. And as you can see, as Wells goes to pass, McBath's arm goes up as if he was going to do a semi-horse collar-like tackle on him. And all of a sudden, you can see the game starts to get stuck in an animation here where I'm starting to get pulled back from that animation and fall down in the field of play. And like I said, it's still a touchdown, so it's a moot point. I just want to keep the box up so you can see exactly what occurs here. As I go to pass him, his arm goes up behind me. That stops my progress, my momentum, and I'm pulled backwards despite the fact that he's being blocked by my wide receiver. And just to take a look at this from one more angle, you can see on this side that he really never makes contact with me. He's completely blocked out of this play in very good technique by my wide receiver, and yet still the animation is respected more than the physics as I'm pulled down as I go into the end zone. So I'd love to know your guys' opinions on this. As always, I will be back in the week with more videos, and I appreciate you guys taking time to check this one out.